Hey guys, hope everybody's having a great day today. We want to continue uh, our discussion about uh, John chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. Today, reading starting in verse 6, uh, about this story about the adulterous woman. Yesterday, we talked about how the Pharisees had brought this woman, uh, who, was, who they claimed was caught in adultery, and they wanted to uh, get Jesus to tell, him, tell them what they ought to do. After they explained to him, obviously that he knew that the law of Moses said that they that they should stone this woman. Uh, and so verse 6, he says this. This they said, testing him, that they might have something of which to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger as though he did not hear. So when they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had raised himself up and saw that no one uh, saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? And, G and she said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Now, there's so many lessons to learn from this story. Yesterday, we talked about the uh, Pharisees and their hypocrisy. We talked about hypocrisy earlier in the week uh, and how we shouldn't say one thing and then do something else. Pharisees are so hypocritical. Uh, they're being deceptive. They're trying to pretend like they have good intentions and really they don't have good intentions trying to deceive Jesus, which is just uh, really ridiculous. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised that they had not learned their lesson to this point. Uh, but you see that Jesus had compassion for this woman. And his first response was not to start quoting scripture and naming uh, the reasons why they were correct. He recognized their hypocrisy. And so what he wanted to say to them was, you don't have the right to judge her. I do, but you do not. And that's why he phrased it. His answer with, he who is without sin cast the first stone. Jesus was the only one that had never sinned. And he could condemn her, could pronounce judgment upon her. It says that he wrote on the ground. There's some scholars that think Jesus was actually writing people's names down that maybe had committed sin with this woman. They, they don't really know, but they know that the oldest are dropping their stones, as it says, and left first. And then when he was left with the woman, here's the second lesson here. I mean, first lesson is we don't have the right to judge. Second lesson is God does not justify our sin. Does he understand why we sin? Sure, but he doesn't justify it. And you and I can't justify it either, no matter what it is. Lying, cheating, stealing, whatever it is, uh, it's all sin. As we said yesterday, there's not a ranking system for it. And so he told the woman, look, he asked, where are your accusers? There's nobody. Basically telling the woman, those people don't have the right to judge you. I do, but I'm not going to condemn you. Go and sin no more. Stop doing this, okay? She recognized what her sin was. All the people that dropped their stones, these men, they all recognized their sin. Now, I can't say that they repented of their sin, but I guarantee you, this woman... When he, Jesus told her to go and sin no more, she realized, wow, I'm spared. This man is going, he saved my life. I can only imagine that she repented. She didn't try to make excuses for her sin. She re probably repented of this and did as Jesus told her, sin no more. Same lesson for us today. Go and sin no more. Don't try to justify our sin. Uh, don't try to say, well, you know, according to this, according to that. Listen, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Doesn't change. And, you know, our sin is always, sin is always sin. It's always displeasing to God. So what we need to do is repent and turn back to him. Anyway, guys, hope this helps. Hope that you have a great day. God bless you. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.